Okay. I need to do something real quick. All right, let's do that again. <laughs> oh, look at that. The timer is over. Boom! Hi everyone, how's it going? I managed to do that, I'm gonna tell you about it in a second, as to how I got to change things. Look at that, I can do, I can do this from here now. I don't even need Yannick. I can just do it wirelessly now. All right, just me today. All right, I know you guys are here, uh, and I didn't even say welcome. Welcome to State of the Game for today. What is the day today? 17th. Now the 17th is pretty close to a date that I know you guys have been looking for. You guys have been asking for a long time, when can we expect things coming out? So I won't, you know, hold on to that for too long. I could, but I won't. So here it is, and then you guys can hang out and I've got some other things for you. But people who are saying the 22nd are correct, and here's why. Here's what to expect. Xbox and PC, you will be getting 1.5 and survival on the 22nd. PS4, 1.5 will be for you uh, possibly a couple of days after that, but we'll have more news on that um, as we get it. So stick around, not today, but we've got Friday, we've got Monday. If we get news on PS4, uh, we'll get that for you very, very soon. What that does mean is that survival for our PS4 friends will be coming one month later than that. So if you do the math, you guys will be seeing that before Christmas. All right? Cool. There you go. Whew, all right. Time to have some coffee. Okay. Guys, the, the PS4 thing, uh, it's, just, it's just one of those things. It's just part of um, the process to getting all of those patches out. Uh, we wanna make sure that you guys get it in a good state rather than having issues. So that, that's what's happening. Anyway, uh, no, 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 you know, is Hamish rocking an Eric shirt? No, man. That's Alliance. Anyway, I have some stuff. You guys haven't seen these yet, but I do have some patch notes. I have my pink pen, so we're gonna do that. My pink pen, there's some, there's some things in there which are very, very good. But, oh, and also, the 100K giveaway, we have winners. We have three of these packs. I can show you some of those things in a second. How about we do this? We'll go through the news first, uh, all of the information, then if you wanna stick around and find out if you won. Um, spoiler. Uh, I kind of screwed up earlier and I showed the winners, but there weren't that many people here at that point. Anyway, okay, all right, we got this. Uh, okay, release date, we did that. Uh, changes in the PTS, so enemy armor, damage, enemy armor damage is back to what it was with 1.4, um, but the PvP application is not reverted. So you will have PvP enemy armor damage, but there's Obviously a different value for that. All right, is this live or a rebroadcast? No, this is live. I just, it's just me today. So there's no, there's no Yannick, I miss him. It's weird, no one, no one to butt in when I'm doing things. Uh, weapon re talent requirements have been lowered. Uh, we heard you guys on that and we agree. Um, those were too much uh, out of focus. All right, if I sit back, I'm probably in focus. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, everyone. All right, I know. I know, I'm, we, we, miss, we all miss Yannick. All right, I'm a bit blurry. We can probably fix that, maybe. Anyway, you know what? We're gonna do that. No, we're not. I'm attached. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, it's gonna be fine. It's cool. Focus is fine. Uh, 
there's obviously a lot of bug fixing and uh, bug fixing and balancing tweaks, uh, and I'll go into a little bit more detail on that. A lot of people have been asking about how sealed caches will work uh, in 1.5. They're like, oh, you know, should I hold on to the ones that I'm getting at 229 gear score? Um, are they going to rank up, <coughs> rank up when I open them in 1.5? No, they won't. So you don't need to hold on to them. Uh, to clarify, the gear score of the cache is calculated when you get it. And since 2.5.6 isn't in 1.4, it will never be like that. Okay? Got that? All right. Okay. I'll let you guys sit that with, with that for a second. Okay. Uh, let everyone know when to give ideas for the Division 2. You are getting ahead of yourself. All right? Just, get, just getting a little bit ahead of yourself. Okay. Level 34 mods. Yes, there are level 34 mods. Okay. Come on, real... UEG or MDC owning the DZ? Is that, is that, can we just ban that person who said die, Hamish? I mean, if there are any mods, maybe that's worth banning? Or is it like D Hamish? Like a, I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. But sure. Oh man, I have to reach so far forward now to get my coffee. Uh, also, the Judy Walters echo that a lot of people have been asking about getting fixed. There is a legit fix for that in 1.5. So now you can clear all your echoes, get your rose jacket, and you'll be fine. You'll get, and then once you have your rose jacket, you're all good. All right, don't be a baby. <laughs> I'm not a baby. I just find it ridiculous that someone would think it's worthy to call me to die on, uh, on stream. I will die eventually, but I'll, I'll probably stick around a bit longer. All right. Now, now people. Do we want to see what's in this giveaway? And then I'm going to tell you who's it, who, who won. And then we'll go into detail on these. I, I kind of want to do it like that. OK. One thing here. A Yeti blackout. That's pretty cool. A New York collapse. One of these dog tags. These are pretty cool. Kid can't see it. It's not going to focus. Anyway. We have. Oh, I should have used this. A coffee cup. Oh, man. A, uh, a hat. Now I'm like real cool. Um, we also have a beanie. Well, I one of these on it. We have uh, patches as well that you can put on stuff. We have these. Thanks, Gabe. Uh, these, uh, they're, kind of, they're post-it notes, but they're like green poison post-it notes. They're really cool. Those are awesome. We have uh, uh, a soundtrack, because CDs still exist. And we have a hoodie. So the people that do win will need to let me know their sizing so I can figure that whole thing out. All right? Yeah, Pete, you need those, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is why you should have been following the channel. OK? Yeah, thanks, Gabe. Doing all those things. All right. So I can do this with my wireless keyboard. Let's, uh, if I've set my hotkeys up correctly, boom, it worked. Congratulations to Runzel, Lokanma, Harlem, Queenie the seventh. You guys won stuff, okay? There you go, congratulations. Now, what will happen is I'll be contacting you guys in the next 24 hours uh, <laughs> to make sure that uh, you know that you've won, all right? Now, people will have until Monday to get back in touch with me and claim their prize, and then we'll organize delivery and all that sort of thing, okay? If you do not get back in touch with me by Monday, we will do another drawing, okay? Just so you know, all right? Now, what was that button again? There we go. See? Easy. Easy, I'm just gonna do this whole thing myself from now on. Seem, seems worth it, all right. <laughs> and also, I wanted to say hello to all of the people in the US who often miss these streams because uh, time zones, you should be sleeping. That's just what happens. Uh, but what, um, what was I gonna say? 
This is hard because I'm always by myself. Yes, so if you uh, often hear during our regular time, which is 11.30, so right now we're streaming about six and a half hours later than we usually would, uh, you would see a much better production. You would see people here on the couch with me. You would see Yannick's glorious beard. You would see all sorts of great things. Uh, but that's not able to happen today. Oh, man. You are tired, Hamish? Yeah, a bit. But I got, I got some coffee. Well, we're going to hang out and we'll talk division -y things. And I want to find out. <clears throat> I want to find out what you guys think about some of these things that are coming. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this new time is better. Don't get used to it. Anyway, so to let you know, uh, some of our plans for next week, what we're looking at doing, myself, Yannick, Gabe, and Matt, who are mostly in chat apart from Yannick, we're going to be doing a 24-hour stream, playing a bunch of survival and hanging out. So that would start at, I don't know, it'll start on Tuesday. So regardless of what time you show up, you'll be able to hang out with us and uh, that'll be awesome, okay? So make sure Tuesday, around the clock, uh, we'll be doing all sorts of stuff here. And here we'll, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, Gabe and Matt don't know this yet, but we're gonna give away a bunch of stuff. We'll give away season passes, we'll give away copies of the game. So it's definitely worth making sure you are here. Uh, that will require a lot of coffee. It really will, um, and because these ideas of doing these kind of around the clock things are mine. I've taken the, uh, the short straw. I'll be streaming from 3 a.m. till 9 a.m. on Wednesday morning, which is Tuesday night for America. And then I'll also be doing something before that with Microsoft. We're going to be, uh, myself and Matthew are going to be on the Microsoft channel for a little bit. Um, anyway, there's news about that coming out as well. But this channel is where you uh, will be able to see 24-hour streaming of survival. So it's going to be awesome. Uh, yes, uh, Smoker, we'll be giving away copies of the game and all that sort of stuff during that time. That's going to be a bunch of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. The last time we did anything like that was during the beta and the launch, and it was so much fun. Uh, yeah, super, super fun. The CMs should get in on this. Yeah, Gabe and Matt are going to be streaming too. Are you getting paid for overtime? But I'll probably sleep in a bit tomorrow. Maybe. Although I'll be streaming tomorrow too. Anyway, more coffee cups, please. I know, right? <laughs> Move on with the update info. All right. We can do that. Just let me have a bit of coffee first. Ah, uh, okay. So you know those named gear items that are coming? We have those six different named gear items. If you don't know about those, um, there's one for each slot that's non-weapon. Uh, you have uh, Pharaoh's oxygen mask, you have the short bow knee pads, you have the Bliss holster, uh, what are the other ones? The Skulls MC gloves, Barrett's bulletproof vest. That's five. What's the last one? Ah yeah, the ninja bike messenger bag, the backpack. Just to be clear, those will only drop in tier five or from a cache in survival mode, all right? Um, if you're in world tier four or below, you will not find them, okay? That's it. Why, why is Antoine Imon just yelling my name? Tony Edmund just, come on. All right, thanks boss. Thanks boss. <laughs> I mean, you look kind of hammered long day. Well, I mean, it's, it's after, working hours here, but uh, we wanted to make sure that you get the news, um, even though Yannick's not here. All right. And it's just, it's just that kind of time, people. All right. Uh, other things that I've written down in these patch notes that I think are definitely worthy talking about. Enemy armor damage now functions in PvP. That is staying. There's been some like uh, rumors about that not staying, because uh, other changes have been reverted, uh, but that is not the case. It will happen in PvP. There is a modifier for that that we can change. Uh, but yes, so that is happening. Uh, did we say the release date? Yes. Next Tuesday. Uh, there is also the stagger now in PvP, which we have talked about. Uh, there is the, the shotgun. I think it's shotguns and marksman rifles, primarily. Here's the wording. So I don't get it wrong. Stagger now functions in PvP. High stagger weapons, shotguns and marksman rifles, primarily, will now cause the target's aim to flinch. 
Okay, so flinching is different from staggering, just so you guys know. It's not the same kind of effect that you had during the explosions. And uh, so explosive bullets, that kind of stagger, it's not that. Uh, your reticle will shift. All right. MG5 is OP. Yes, we'll talk about that too. Uh, NPCs now have chances to drop crafting materials. That's cool. And they, that increases with world tiers, which is great. Uh, there's also, if you missed the thing about uh, shotguns being nerfed as well, and also the uh, console aim assist being effective, that is happening as well. Uh, what else do we have in here? Oh, we'll come back to that later. All weapon types. Hipfire now has stronger recoil than aiming down sights. Cool. The strength of this effect varies between weapon types. And this is in order. Okay, from most impacted to least impacted. Marksman rifles, LMGs. Assault rifles, SMGs, shotguns, then pistols. All right, so marksman rifles and LMGs are the most affected by that. Got that? All right. All right, so I'm going to give you guys an update. Uh, if you weren't here at the start of the stream, I did talk about how uh, the dates. So let's go over the dates again, because I know a lot of people are just coming in. Oh, OK. The dates. Xbox and PC. Next Tuesday, the 22nd, we'll be receiving 1.5 and survival. PS4 will receive 1.5. We're still waiting on the final uh, news on that, but it's looking like it'll be a couple of days after that. Okay, just to be clear. And as, as we get more news, we'll make sure that we, that gets out there. Twitter, uh, any of the streams here, you guys will find about that as, uh, out about that as soon as we can. Damn, nearly 5K viewers. Are you kidding me? What? Okay, that happens. Uh, then PS4 will get survival a month later. So if you're doing your calculations, uh, PS4 will get survival this year before Christmas. All right. So people who are saying or worried about uh, survival coming on PS4 next year, no. All right. Got that. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Come on, we've got 5K people here. Pressure's on, people. Giveaway? I can't, I'm not at the computer. I'll do a giveaway in, oh, I can't do it in the morning because that kind of cuts out the people that are here. I'll figure it out. This is, this is fun. Anyway, I need to take a breath, take a sip of my coffee. That's why chat's going so quickly. So many people in here. Crazy. Um, just going back. Uh, because I want to make sure that the people who won the 100k giveaway do know about that. Uh, these were the winners. There is some music in the background. I probably should have taken that off the video file, but it's there. Runzel, Lokenma, and Harlem Queeny 7th. Please uh, make sure to check your Twitch private messages um, tomorrow. And I will be in touch with you very soon. Okay? Cool. All right. That's a cute sweatshirt. Thank you. you. You an Alliance fan? Should be. They got this. All right. <laughs> All right. Some of the other changes that I think are super cool, and we've, we've mentioned them uh, offhandedly, uh, but some people might have missed them. Uh, on PC, there will be an, a radial menu added for emotes, so you don't need to bind them anymore if you don't want to do that. Very cool. Uh, other bug fixes that I thought were notable, and again, there's more than these, um, but I'm just going through the, the ones that are important, I think. Uh, fixed instances where players could obtain high-end items at too low levels. That's cool. That's really cool. All right, what else have we got in here? Again, I'm only doing a few of these. Uh, fixed a bug where the Medved and Warlord high-end weapons would drop at 163 gear score in incursions at any world tier. Great for me. Fixed a weird door. It literally says that. It literally says fixed a weird door. I don't know which door that was, but it must have been pretty weird. Uh, okay, still some more here. Fixed a bug where players could become invincible for a few seconds after using Survivor Link. Uh, we have talked about that, but again, I think it's worthy of reiterating. And the Judy Walters Echo uh, parts two to five. Uh, where they couldn't be picked up correctly, that is fixed. Okay? Fixed. You hated that door? Rip door. Fixed. All right? 
ah, gosh, the weird door got fixed, the moon got fixed, the donuts got fixed. Now the game is playable. Okay. Hodor, Hodor, what? Okay. When is the release for Xbox? Tuesday, 22nd. Where is Yannick? I made him angry and he ran off to Germany. Thanks, guy. So, a lot of you guys have been talking about, uh, and I love the guys over at Upper, Upper Echelon, and I've had a chance to meet uh, some of those folks, when I say some, one, uh, and he was awesome. Uh, they have this thing, and I saw this Reddit thread, and I said in the thread that I would give it a shout out because it's so cool. Uh, they have a DZ911 service where you can jump on their Discord and get some help in the dark zone. I know I need it. I will probably be using it. All right, so if you need to use the Dark Zone 911 service, exclamation DZ911 in our chat will now give you a link to this website that they've set up, which will tell you how to do it. Okay? So you can use that in the chat right now. I set that up before. Uh, actually, if you could, uh, <laughs> if you could type it in, uh, there you go. There it is. All right, okay, so let me know if that link works. Um, I set it up about an hour ago. So uh, make sure you check that out and let me know how it goes. But Upper Echelon, you guys are like honestly super uh, appreciated by the team here. You guys are rad. <laughs> there you go. Everyone's spamming the command now. It's on a it's on a timer. I mean, like has a cooldown, so you can't you know just spam it. But sure. All right, everyone's going crazy. Okay, back back to the other stuff. Changes between PTS2 and release update 1.5. There are some things, and I may have said some of these before, but uh, they are definitely worth talking about. Uh, lowered stat requirements to unlock weapon talents at gear score 256. Everyone should be very happy about that. Uh, fixed a bug where Dead Eye 4 piece would still take headshot damage into account. Okay, cool. Uh, there are some damage reductions to the MG5, and the hip fire accuracy has been reduced. So people who are saying MG5 is overpowered, we agree. All right, where's Breezy been? Where has Breezy been? I don't, I don't know. We miss you, Breezy. What happened? Uh, the MP7, okay. So the MP7 damage has been reduced by 6% compared to PTS2, but between 1.4 and 1.5, people will experience a 9% increase, okay? So if you haven't played on the PTS, all of that, MP7 is receiving a 9% buff. Cool? Uh, what else we got here? These are only in survival. So first aid base heal value by 20% from 1,000 to 800, and it's only in survival. Uh, same with ballistic shield health, only survival uh, by 33%, so from 3,750 to 2,500. Um, again, only survival. Uh, increase the score requirement to reach novice uh, from 600 to 800 in survival. Uh, reduce uh, the score of medkits, painkillers, drinks, and food. Um, also, uh, coming in 1.5, Provident. This talent has been removed from World Tier 5 and will not roll or be available in recalibration for gear score 256 weapons. So, those god roll SMGs with Provident, gather, will not exist anymore. Tactical Advance. This is, okay. Tactical Advance is awesome, by the way, if you're not using it. You're missing out, but this talent has now been kept at 30%. Still, 30% damage increase from running cover to cover. Awesome. Definitely a great, great talent to be using. D did no one like find my SMG Provident joke super funny? Feels bad. Any Mars were godly with Provident? Yeah, the M44 was pretty crazy. And the R700 is true. All right, so I'm just, I'm just trying to see uh, what chat's saying. All right. No? You, you thought it? Okay. I have to be uh, more overt with the sarcasm. Hurried, focused, and disciplined are no longer exclusive to the PP19, G36, and to SVDs. So that wasn't a bug. I know people like, saw Hurried showing up on other SMGs. That's meant to happen now. Okay. What's in that coffee? Do you actually want to know the story of what's in this coffee? I was trying to make a tea, a vanilla tea, and I accidentally put coffee in it. So now it's like vanilla coffee. Whoops. It's actually really good. There you go. 
you just got here, what did you miss? Um, I will reiterate the dates for people and uh, I will hang out and see if there are any things that I can answer, but I will do that. <laughs> Solo state of the game? Yes. It is today. Yannick is uh, flying to Germany right now, so that's a, that's a thing. Oh my god, stay on topic, dude. No one liked my coffee story? I thought it was entertaining. Anyway, uh, Isaac Assignments, I saw someone mention it, I didn't see your whole question, but it, um, my understanding is that Isaac Assignments are coming back with survival. As soon as I get more information about when you can expect the next one, I will tell you, but I don't know. Wow, chat is going quickly. All right, so I will just reiterate some of the things because I know a lot of the questions pertain to that. Yes, the MG5 is getting uh, reductions in terms of damage and also hip fire accuracy. Um, we agreed with a lot of people, it is OP. And, and over the, across the board, hip fire is being changed. It will affect uh, marksman rifles and LMGs much more than it will affect SMGs, you know, um, shotguns and pistols and that sort of thing. Okay. And the MP7 is getting a buff from 1.4 to 1.5. So those are the main weapon things. What else we got here? What else we got? Xbox chat, that is fixed. What else do we have? All right, chat's going too quick for me. I will just reiterate the, uh, the dates. So if you're just joining, the dates that you can expect and put in your calendar is Xbox and PC. I'm speaking to you guys specifically right now. Underground and 1.5, best to think of those two things as different, are uh, coming on Tuesday, the 22nd. The time we will make sure we communicate, but there will be a maintenance on Tuesday, I imagine. Uh, if we can do a state of the game, then I guess we'll try and do that, but no commitment just yet on that. Um, DX12, explain. anyway, I'll finish the dates first. PS4, we're waiting on a, a couple of things and a, a little bit more news before we can commit to exactly when that is coming, but it will be um, middle of next week uh, for you guys for 1.5, and then one month later for, uh, for survival. Okay? Did I say underground? I meant survival. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, survival and 1.5. I'm fired. Straight up fired. Okay, Survival 1.5, Xbox PC, Tuesday, the 22nd. Survival on PS4, one month later, and 1.5 for PS4, middle of next week. We got that? All right. Uh, DX12, I've seen you guys talking about that. So DX12 is one of those things that the developers wanted to try out in the PTS. There will be, to my understanding, no DX12 in 1.5, but we are continuing on that path to see when that will get in. So as soon as that gets in, I will let you know. What else do we have here? Kill streaks and manhunts, that's cool. Uh, so, so when people say uh, PS4 patch not on Tuesday, uh, we don't know yet. As soon as I know that, I will, I will tell you. Release time, I don't have that yet either, but there will most likely be a maintenance on Tuesday. Uh, so as soon as I get those times those will be communicated uh, forums and Twitter are the best for those kind of times and dates so again uh, check those for those dates and times all right sharing blueprints uh, between characters as I'm assuming is what you're talking about that's one of those things that um, is a very very cool idea we don't have it yet but we agree that that's a cool idea so I'm for it I am for it Patch notes. Patch notes will be coming, um, not yet. Again, this is so hard without Yannick here, because he would know when those are coming. But they, they will be coming, uh, I think, Gabe might know. Gabe, if you know when the patch notes are coming, please, uh, please let the world know. Um, what else do we have here? Nerf the shotguns, that's happening. Blind Battle Rifle is now the Urban MDR, with some similar kind of mechanics, but it's, uh, it's in 1.5. Gabe says Monday. Gabe says patch, uh, patch notes are coming to you guys on Monday, so that's cool. I mean, I've, to be fair, I've given you most of them. What exactly do PS4 users get with 
That is a good question. So uh, 1.5 will give you the new weapons. So I actually have those listed. So and obviously all the, the bug fixes and, and, and patching. But the biggest thing uh, is the gear. So new gear coming in. I'm just going to go through those weapons if you missed it because there are a lot of new ones. And they're very cool. I have them in here somewhere, I promise. Okay, here we go. New, 12 new weapon types. The MG5 light machine gun, the infantry MG5 light machine gun, the FAMAS assault rifle. How do you say that? FAMAS? FAMAS? Anyway, the FAMAS assault rifle. The Model 700 Marksman Rifle, uh, which is the M700, uh, which comes in three variations. The M700 uh, Tactical Marksman Rifle, the M700 Carbon, um, the Converted USC SMG, the Police UMP 45 SMG, the Tactical UMP 45 SMG, the Snub-Nosed Rhino Pistol, the Rhino Pistol, and the Rhino Special Pistol. There are also four new high-end named weapons, the Golden Rhino, the Urban MDR, the Tommy Gun, and the Thompson M1928, or M1928. I don't know if it's referring to the year or the model number. If you know, please say. And the 93R should be in here too. Gabe, look at the patch notes and uh, why is the 93R not in here? Come on. FAMAS? All right. Someone says that. All right, so there's, there's a lot of weapons, okay? The 93R should be in there. Also, one of the things you can do if you want to blame Gabe for things, you just use hashtag Blabe. And now that there's a lot of people in here, I would encourage you to just hashtag Blabe, please. Thanks, Matt, for uh, coming up with that one. All right. That's about all for today. I'll, uh, I'll hang out and see if there are any questions that I can answer. Hashtag blade, there, there it is. Thanks, everyone. Loadouts. So loadouts is one of those things that, yes, um, we agree with would be very, very cool. We don't have that yet, but we know that the community wants it, so it's not off the table for the future. <laughs> blade. Get rid, Gabe. The stuttering. OK, so one of the things that's important to note is that some of the stuttering issues on consoles are localized performance issues. So uh, if you're in a specific area and you're experiencing frame drops, um, there needs to be some optimization work done by the team here to make sure that those things don't happen as much as they do right now, or at all, because it just shouldn't happen at all. So if you are experiencing um, certain areas with uh, FPS drops and that sort of thing, please let us know where those are so we can uh, fix them as quickly as possible. Yes, we, we do know where lots of them are, but we want to make sure that we don't miss anything. So please let us know so we can uh, identify where optimization needs to occur and that sort of thing. The, upper, uh, the UEG Discord's going crazy. Yes, so for anyone who didn't know, uh, Upper Echelon, are now, they now have a thing where you can basically call their emergency number on Discord and someone's going to help you out in the dark zone if you need it. I know I'll be using it because I'm terrible. Okay. What exactly is happening to shotguns on console? All right. Do you guys want to know? I, I, have, I have some information on that. We've talked about it before, but I can give you some uh, more information. Uh, the, I'll just read it verbatim. Why not? Okay. Lowered the strength of aim assist for shotguns. Lowered the effect of accuracy on shotguns. Headshot base bonus reduced from 80 to 60%. Uh, where was I? The showstopper accuracy while in cover has been reduced. That's cool. Uh, the M870 has just received a blanket nerf. So the M870 base damage has been reduced by 12%. Okay. All right, so console players should experience a very different shotgun world. Cool. There we go. Wow, okay. Chat's moving very, very quickly. Uh, what is life? Hamish giveaway, what, what is the time right now? My eyes can't quite read that. Whoa, I've already been doing this for half an hour? Wow, this is like the same length of a, a usual state of the game. 
Okay. That's fine. I, to be fair, I don't think this state of the game is going to make it into podcast format because I don't know how entertaining or relevant my monologue is in podcast format. But if you guys think I should uh, convert it, I can do that too. Just let me know. I'll, uh, I'll put it up on SoundCloud after this if, if, if folks want that. All right. Rip eyes, I know, right? Okay, the, the screen's kind of far away. Um, Christmas outfits, that'd be awesome. I would love that. Podcast. Someone just yelled podcast. Okay, no. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. I love it. Okay. Uh, okay, things to reiterate before I head off. The winners. All right, winners of the 100K thing. Check your, check your DMs. These are, these are the people. Runzel, Loken, Ma, Harlem, Quainy, 7th. Uh, you guys want some stuff. Make sure to check your DMs and I will uh, sort that out. If you don't respond by Monday, you're not getting anything. Okay? And we're going to have to give it away to someone else and then you'll feel really bad and I'll feel horrible. Okay? Uh, go sleep. I do need to go sleep. All right. Um, then other things to go over. Dates. And I'm not going to screw this up this time. I promise. The 22nd. Xbox One and PC will be getting Survival and 1.5. Middle of next week, um, because we're still working on, on the details, PS4 will get 1.5. All right, I haven't gone wrong just yet. During the month of December, one month later from when PS4, uh, well, one month later than next week, PS4 will get Survival. Okay, so before Christmas, um, PS4 players will get that. So any concerns you had about survival not coming this year for PS4 players, it's not happening, okay? Which I'm very, very happy about. You guys can enjoy your Christmas break by playing survival. But uh, what else are you going to do? Family schmamly. Am I right? Am I right? Yes. Uh, game chat. So Xbox is getting chat back as far as I know. All right. Uh, if there's any more information on that, I'll get that out through various streams. Okay. Um, mm -mm -mm. Uh, saving caches is not worth doing. So the, yeah, I just saw someone talking about that. Uh, if you save caches from 1.4, they won't be upgraded to 1.5 gear score. So you won't get 256 gear score. Okay, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail with this because I think it's interesting. Uh, gear score on caches is calculated when you get the cache. Okay, so in 1.4, 229 is max gear score. That's the maximum capacity of those caches you have right then. Now, what is uh, important to note, that when you open that cache, say you do it in 1.5, the loot table will allow you to get any of the gear that can roll up that gear score. But, here's the rub, uh, to be a bit Shakespearean. You will only get... Um, the new weapons and the new gear in World Tier 5. So when you open those caches, even though you can technically get um, everything that drops at that gear score, keep in mind the FAMAS does not drop at 229, uh, the 93R does not drop at 229, etc. Et Why is Hamish ignoring the PS4 players? No, I'm not. Um, I'm just telling you what's happening to PS4. Um, again, we have um, three different processes where PC has to go out to a certain place, Xbox has to go out to a certain place, and PS4 has to go out to a certain place. And sometimes, even though we try our darndest, um, they have different considerations, if you know what I mean. Okay. All right. Stash size. Oh, you didn't hear the news? So your 70 size stash will now be increasing to 150, so that's more than double. Actually, no, I, maybe you missed it because we did that on a state of the game, which is at a different time, usually. Um, so for American friends who miss, missed that thing, it's, uh, it's 150. You didn't know? There you go. Okay. Liar? I'm not a liar. It's going up to 150. And Slap Chops just said that it's not 151. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All right. Yeah, 150. There you go. All right. I think we're kind of... We're running out of stuff. Okay. 
I'll hang out for a couple more minutes, and if I see anything, I will answer it, but we will see. How's my day been? Really good. People are goofy. I agree. Pants on fire. I'm not lying about the stash size. It's 150. You, it was on the PTS. So, believe it. Believe it. Hamish looks wrecked. I, I am wrecked. I need to go to sleep, man. It's been, it's been a long week. Uh, Twitch channel. Yep, exactly. What is happening to the MG5? It's receiving a base damage nerf and a hip fire accuracy decrease. Um, the MG5 was crazy. Crazy. Cool, but it was too powerful. All right. Okay. That being said, I'm going to get out of here. I might awkwardly press the wrong button to end the stream, and the microphone's not going to get switched off. So you'll hear some rustling as I unequip it. But that's just, that's just what we have to deal with today. I'm sorry, people. Thank you for hanging out. Again, hello and welcome to the US audience. Uh, if you are tuning in for the first time to State of the Game, we usually do this at a different time, and there's usually people here with me. And somehow I've talked for too long. Anyway, you got, you got the idea. Hopefully that's enough information for you guys today. I appreciate you hanging out. I will see you next time. Please work. Look at that. We did it, okay. Good job me. Do you want to go have dinner now? Yeah, let's do that. Let's take this microphone off.